On the annual commemoration of Hezbollah's Martyr Day, Hezbollah Secretary General Sayyid Hassan Nasrallah spoke before an immense crowd, addressing the latest local and regional issues. Nasrallah made reference to recent statements by Israeli Joint Chief of Staff Gabi Ashkenazi, in which the latter warned of Hezbollah's stockpile of weapons. Nasrallah said that if this was a pretext for a war, this time the movement's rockets would reach a lot further than Haifa, which was targeted by Hezbollah in July of 2006. I tell Ashkenazi and Obama and all the world, send as many military contingencies as you want. Send even your whole army. We will destroy them in our valleys and mountains. The geographical nature of the South and Lebanon in general was created by God to humiliate and destroy the occupiers. Head of Hezbollah stressed within this context that the choice of resistance was proven to be the only way to deal with Israel stressing that the Obama administration was no different than its predecessors in its alliance with Israel. He stressed that 18 years of negotiations resulted in failure and frustration. In 1985, Hezbollah was a small group almost unheard of with very humble capabilities. Today it has become a power that should be reckoned with, with a military capability that Israel has been making a campaign against. Now it has to deal with the Israeli campaign against it, in addition to the challenges they face at home. Nasrallah called on Lebanon's new cabinet for national cooperation and national coherence, saying this was one way which could prevent Israel from waging a new war on Lebanon. The Saudi-Syrian summit was lauded by Nasrallah as a strong asset for Lebanon that could make way for more regional understanding. However, he did caution against sectarianism pointing to the danger of the conflict in Yemen. I call for a Saudi-Iranian rapprochement. Let there be an initiative from either side or any Arab state to find the method of communication between these two countries. Let there be cooperation to put out the fires, especially the very dangerous conflict in northern Yemen. Marian Saleh, Press TV.